students were injured, but they have they are with their parents and they have taken to seek medical attention. But nobody was actually shot. Okay. Um, I'm hearing right now that there may be one detained, but again, I'm just being honest with you guys. I don't have confirmation on that. I'm waiting for another phone call. Okay. Um, as far as what's going on today, I appreciate everybody in uh, my seven years of being public affairs and my 20 years on the PD, we've never had this. So I realize it's going on around the nation, but I thank you guys for what you are doing to help us with this. Um, we're working as hard as we can. As you can see, there's multiple agencies out here. Just as we always you know, thought what was gonna happen, everybody's gonna come together to try to, to help it with what's going on. So right now, everybody on campus is safe, all right? Um, nobody within there has been shot. Nobody is injured that we know of right there. The only two that were have been taken by parents to seek medical attention. So Eric's going to talk to you guys as far as maybe letting people out of school and when that may happen. We are currently in a lockdown because of the pursuit of a suspect or multiple suspects in the area. So as we're in a lockdown, we have no precedence from my experience or with any training that we've had to release students during it. However, because oh, right the okay. police are saying that there's no active situation on campus, we're going to work through details of how we could get your students or your children to you in a safe way. I'm not going to say that's going to happen in five minutes, but we're working on it with our superintendent and the principal um, and figuring out how we can release students to you guys in a safe manner during a lockdown.